Welcome again to Joe Stunner Boxing. There was a lot of criticism regarding Jamel Charlo against Canelo. Um, a lot of people have said he should have tried more when the fight was over. He was delighted it was over. He was smiling. He was saying he dared to be great. And yet he didn't try and win the fight. He got knocked down in the seventh round. He got up and he was just survival mode. It was almost like a journeyman's mentality. Well, at the time, that didn't really hit me that much. But I think people are right about that. Um... And then I watched, I didn't watch this live, but I watched a fight, a little, little eight-rounder between um, Stephen McKenna and Darren Tetley. Now, McKenna is undefeated. Uh, he stopped Tetley in six rounds. Uh, Tetley was actually pulled out by his corner due to a very bad eye injury. I think it was, which eye was it? Was it the left? I think it was the left. Um, or, no, I don't know which one. Anyway, anyway he was busted up. Um, and if you look at Tetley's record, he's now 22 wins with 9 KOs, 5 defeats and 2 stoppages. But all 5 of his defeats have come in his last 7 fights. And the 2 people he's actually beaten are very low level journeymen. Um, he lost to Liam Taylor, unanimous decision. He lost to Samuel Antwi, a 6 round stoppage. Um, Taylor and Antwi only had 1 defeat you know, each on their records. Then he fought Echo Esteban for 12. That was for the British title, the Commonwealth title, and one of those European IBF things. Uh, he lost on points, so he did, you know, it's good to go the distance with, with uh, Echo Esteban. Um, Dom Hunt beat him over 10 rounds. He was undefeated too. And now McKenna, another undefeated fighter, has stopped him in six. But I'll tell you what, Darren Tetley did not stop trying to win this fight. He was throwing everything. He, he was in over his head in the sense that... Um, I mean, he's 30 years old, 5 foot 11. McKenna is, uh, looks at least two inches taller, possibly three. Uh, 26 years old, undefeated coming in, uh, McKenna. Um, certainly was a South, is a Southpaw, uh, and McKenna's orthodox, so I suppose you had to work, work that out. But from the word go, it looked like McKenna was going to smash through Tetley until the end of the first round when Tetley sort of exploded and put it on. McKenna as if to say you know I'm not going anywhere you want to beat me you better be prepared to walk through fire which to his credit McKenna did now um, the fight carried on I mean it, it carried on and McKenna gradually you know, took over he just had better technique he controlled the range better he's firing nice straight punches a variety of punches but Tetley was like okay you're better than me technically you got more talent probably but I'm not going anywhere and he stormed forward he was taking punches in bunches but he was throw he was throwing but of course, you can only stop so many punches with your face before it tends to have a bad effect on you. And at the end of the third round, towards the end of the third round, Stephen McKenna was really beating up Tetley. And Tetley's eye was blowing up, uh, blood coming out of his mouth. Although McKenna himself did have a bit of blood coming out of the mouth when he took the gum shield out. You could see there was some damage there. So clearly Tetley was landing. But I would not have been surprised if at the end of the third round they stopped the fight. Because Tetley was taking a horrendous beating. Um, but he carried on. Carried on for another three rounds, taking his lumps. McKenna thro threading through nice combinations. Tetley desperately trying to hang on, throwing his own punches back, um, getting busted up. But he couldn't really do anything with McKenna. Quite simply put, McKenna was just better. That's all it was. And this was a bit of a grudge match. They had words before the fight. I think McKenna said he's going to punch more holes in, in the tea bag or something. <laughs> See, I, I like trash talk if it's witty. Insults is not wit, you know, profanity is not cleverness. You've got to be witty, and there was quite a nice little back and forth between the two of them. But afterwards, I mean, the, the, the corner pulled uh, Tetley out after six, rightly so. He was devastated. He, would, he did not stop trying to win this fight at all. That's his, his fifth defeat in seven. Uh, McKenna moves to 14-0, um, uh, 13 KOs. So he's tall and wiry, you know, um, but like Sorrell, sometimes he fights small. You've got to be careful there. got to be careful about that. Um, and he did give Tetley a chance to land some punches. And like I say, he did have a little bit of damage to the mouth. But a yeah, good fight, a good fun fighter to watch, McKenna. Um, this was, like I say, this was only an eight-rounder. And Tetley showed Mr. Charlo and quite a few others exactly what, it, what is involved in fighting your heart out for what I, I imagine would be peanuts. I don't know how much he got paid, but it weren't enough. Um, so Ireland's McKenna moves on. Um, he's actually based in LA which is probably why he likes to have a punch up because the gym's over there the sparring sessions are sometimes like proper fights but tell me what you think of McKenna tell me what you think of Tetley's effort 
um, this was on the undercard of Caroline Dubois' IBO fight. And uh, good, good little fight, good little late round. It's on Daily Motion if you want to watch it. Go over to Daily Motion and have a look at it. All right, thanks a lot. Um, Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Please hit the, like, hit the like button as well. Much appreciated. Spread the word about Joe Stunner Boxing. And as always, thanks for your time. Bye for now.